guys, Boston Chris back again with another Ark Kabbalist artifact adventure. And today we are doing the Jump and Run Cave, which is for the artifact of the Sky Lord. Now, this is by far the hardest cave on the map, I feel. Um, and not because there's a lot of enemies in there, but because it is like parkour through the whole thing, right? Now, the thing is. There are a little, there are a few little areas that you can kind of cheese it a little bit, and also, um, I highly recommend using an Archaeopteryx, okay, and, um, if you don't know where to tame an Archaeopteryx, I got mine in the cave where the Shimmer Unicorns are, and the, um, where you can get the Artifact of the Gatekeeper. Um, if you're not familiar where that is, uh, let me know in comments, and I will share the coordinates with you um but yeah anyway this is what we're doing we're gonna go ahead and run through this cave i'm gonna try to show you guys how to do it um with the archaeopteryx which really honestly makes this cave a whole lot easier than it actually is now i am taking um cactus broth and bug repellent also i've all i always bring antidote lesser antidote and healing brews with me or medical brews um, I have a grappling hook, which is super important in this cave. I have a sniper rifle, a long neck rifle, a pike, uh, a shotgun, um, and parachutes as well. I also have a glider suit on my uh, armor, which I don't really use that much in this, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's this is what we're doing today. Um, the coordinates for this cave are 34.8, 93.8. Point four, right over here at the far right hand side of the map and yeah so without any further ado let's do it okay so my broths are about to expire and there is one area in here that is a little bit confusing I have to remember that I cannot reload my gun with the Archaeopteryx on my shoulder either. Hello. Alright. This spider apparently is 100% bulletproof. Alright, so let's just kill the spider, then we'll re-up our, our broth. Right, here we go. Alright, here we go. Um, one thing that is really, really imperative to know, um, in case you didn't know, which I didn't, I had to figure it out because I am new to keyboard and mouse, but it is imperative to know that hitting the R key uh, with the Archaeopteryx on your shoulder will drop you. He will stop hovering, essentially. So as of right now, I'm hovering, and so I just want to get over here, and so I'm going to hit the R key to drop. We're going to kill this centipede, perhaps. Okay. Is that spider aggroed? All right, so now what you want to do is you want to jump down here. The problem is, is I have this Archaeopteryx on my shoulder. Um, so what I like to do is I'll, I'll just walk out and he'll hover me. Okay, like so. And then I will hit R and then I will put my parachute on. Now, 
Now we are falling in water down here, and uh, but the thing is, is you can take damage on the sides of the cave here. <clears throat> So we're just gonna parachute on down. This water is safe, there's nothing in it that hurts you. All right, so there we go. And that's that part. So now we are in the lost area. So this area is a little bit difficult and I still have trouble with it. I've been in here twice now. This is my third time. Um, but I find if I stay to the left, I can usually find my way through here a lot faster. So that's what I'm gonna do. There are enemies in this area. I think this one right here is, a, is actually a, a, a dead end. But this area is definitely a maze, and really what I'm looking for is lava, right? Okay, so there's a box up there. Let's grab that. And unfortunately, like, I can't tell you left, right, right, left, right, left. Like, this area, I just kind of feel my way through it. Lucky. <laughs> Keep an eye on the signs. It's actually the first time I've seen that sign. So, cut across here. And then I think the way out is up here to the left, perhaps. Yes. All right, so then we just want to go up this way. You'll know you're in the right place when you see all these purple crystals. All right. Pray, pray, pray. So it's just trying to scare the crap out of you because this cave is hard. All right. So you're gonna find another um, treasure over here. Again, guys, I have not been through here today. So this is how it is with the enemies. Like there's hardly any enemies in this cave. You, oh, as soon as I say that, there's an enemy. Good shot. be helpful if the bullets would count. Oh my gosh. Maybe he's just going to be in the wall and up here. Hindrance to me. So I'm going to get the drop first, obviously. Okay. Now, when you see this platform or half a platform, there's a sign right here that says, you will die. I believe you can put a bedroll down here as well. I think that's new. Um, I'm pretty sure you can. There's a couple of places in here where they allow you to put a bedroll. I think this is one of them. But anyway, what you want to do next is you want to go down here under the sign or to the right of the sign. And down at the bottom here is where this cave gets difficult. All right, this is where it gets hard. So now what I want to do is have this out. <laughs> and I'm gonna crouch. This is where you really have to go extremely slow. Now there is a bit of an area here at the beginning where you can cheese it that I found out. So the way the cave wants you to go is this way, right? It wants you to go around that way into there, okay? 
But there is a place you can grapple over here that you can use the Archaeopteryx to your advantage. Alright. So I'm actually going to stand up here. And so I'm hitting R to land. And so you have the staircase going down into the lava, okay? So right here, these crystals up here, you can actually grapple them. So what we're going to do is we're going to grapple those crystals. And what we're, where we're wanting to go is over there, okay? So right over there, there is a landing. And that's where we want to go. So with the Archaeopteryx, we can glide over there. And that's what we're going to do right now, okay? So we're going to let go of the thing. And we're just going to glide over with the Archaeopteryx. Hit R to land on the ledge. And there we go. Now the way out is right there. You can see the sign there. And it used to be you could grapple that sign. But you can't do that anymore. They've patched that, okay? See? So the correct way, and this is where it really, obviously, we just skipped a lot of the cave, but what we got to do now is remember where those crystals are, because if you fall, then you're going to need to use those, okay? All right, so we're going to go up here. And then across to there. All right. Again, this is very, very, very tough. All right, so next up is a jump to there. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Okay, so this is where you want to be, is this little area right here, this ledge. Okay, so, if you came the long way, you would come across there, down there, and across, okay? But now we need to jump over to there. And this is why the Archaeopteryx, now you can do this without the Archaeopteryx, but you would have to be like an insanely good player, right? And I'm not, so even with the Archaeopteryx, this is very, very scary. All right. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. So we have to go back to these crystals and start over. Yo, Nightmare Crater, thank you for the 24 months, dude. I don't know why that didn't do an alert. But thank you, dude. Interesting. Yeah, I do. The overlays are not on. I wish that I could be like the cool kids. Holy butterfly.
Alright. Quater, how you been, man? This cave is insane. Alrighty then. Alright. See, this is hard for me even further than most people because I cannot use mouse and keyboard. I've only been using it in about three weeks. So I have to look down at the keys still. Alright, so now we have to jump to here or we can jump to there. Since I have the Archaeopteryx, I can skip this jump here. But you have to get into the circle right there essentially. And then you're going from circle to circle. There's, I think, three of them in total. Okay, and then over to that ledge. Um... Okay, we messed up. Sadly, we have messed up. We were almost done, too. So, we, we had one more jump after that, so that stinks. One more jump. So, we all we had to do was jump from there to there, and we would have been done. But that's all right. We'll... We'll do that again. Practice makes perfect. So a lot of this cave can be skipped with the Archaeopteryx as well, like I'm doing right here. If you want to, right? It's just nice to have those crystals there, and you have to know what they are, right? Like, you have to be able to identify them. So that way you can hit them with your... Hit them with your, um, grappling hook. from that way, right? Yeah. All right. So This honestly is the hardest jump for me because I always overswing it. But you can just go straight over here if you want, okay? And that is the middle portion, what I call the middle portion of the jump and run gate, or the what the, the really honestly the hard portion. So we're going to redo our things. And we're going to get into what I call the cross-section. 
So I think this might get patched in the future. There's another spot for a, for a thing. But you're supposed to do grappling hook on the crosses up on the ceiling. Uh, but there is a way across, if you could see through the mist, if you hit right here. Where is it? Right there. You can get across that way. If you're using an Archaeopteryx, obviously you can just jump across, right, like this. Um, so that works as well, but if you don't have an Archaeopteryx, then you, you have to use the crosses up there, okay? Um, this is the one where I struggled a little bit, um, because I can't fly up with the Archaeopteryx, right? So... Um, I guess you could go down into there. Hold on, let me see what that's about. Maybe this is where I went. No, this is not where I went. I went above. Pretty sure I went above. All right, perfect. Yeah, that's what the crosses are for. You're supposed to use the grappling hooks on the crosses. That's how it's meant to be. But since the Archaeopteryx is working here, that's how I got across this section. Respect. Thank you. Thank you. And um, so that's essentially the end of that area, okay? Now, here you're going to need a scuba suit or a tech helmet. Which is what I brought. I brought actually. I got a. I got a, a suit as well. But I'm just going to toss on my tech helmet. And um, you're going to end up falling in midair down here. So keep in mind that you will be falling. Now there is a po uh, pool of water at the bottom. But sometimes, if you don't have the um, Archaeopteryx, sometimes you don't land in it. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Okay. But the idea is, is you're supposed to fall directly down into this puddle of water that's right there, okay? Like this. Okay, that's the way it's supposed to be. Now, the artifact is right there, right? Super easy to get to. And uh, one thing I did want to check I wanted to see if I could put this into... Okay, all right. So that's how you get the Skylord artifact. And now on the way out, it's a little bit dangerous as well. Um, let me see if I can figure this out again. Um, the water, okay, it's that way. So you just jump. Um, okay, it didn't jump at first. That's nice. So what I would do is I just used my Archaeopteryx to glide out of here. Um, above all the danger. Because there are, like, booby traps and insects and things down there. But this is the way out, and this way will um, slam a wall down behind you as well. Um, eventually. And see, I guess it doesn't. Does it not put a wall behind you? It does. No, it doesn't. Okay. So I guess the back way is still, um, it's still not patched. But that's how you do 
the Artifact of the Skylord Cave, if you do want to go in the back way, if it still works, it's 37.7, 98.0 at this location. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, again, just get yourself an Archaeopteryx, and this is actually pretty simple.